Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 18th of June and this time I'm bringing you a little bit of an update regarding Shenmue 3, which of course made us all pretty damn happy when it was revealed at E3. Now we all know that it's done pretty much insanely well and it actually managed to take down Kickstarter when everyone who of course saw the reveal jumped onto the Kickstarter page to have a look and perhaps pledge some money and as I said it literally took down the Kickstarter website and smashed through their two million dollar goal in about nine hours to the point where the team involved actually scrambled to add new stretch goals. Obviously, they knew it would have some interest, they weren't silly, they knew that this game has been <laughs> requested for god knows how long. But they probably at least thought they could get home from E3 before they had to start adding stretch goals. <laughs> and now, the project has passed $3 million. To be exact, at the time of recording, it has reached $3,151,579 with $29 to go. So not only is that insanely impressive, it's literally record breaking as it has been reported that Shenmue 3 has actually taken the Guinness World Record for the fastest video game to raise $1 million in contributions on a crowdfunding platform. And in case you're wondering, that title was previously held by Torment Tides of Numenera, which of course is a spiritual successor to Planescape Torment. Now, in terms of just general projects, not just video games, Shenmue 3 is now the second fastest project to achieve the $1 million milestone ever, and that record holder is actually the Pebble Smartwatch, which managed that in 46 minutes in the beginning of Kickstarter. Now, this is hardly surprising that it's doing well. This has got to be one of the most requested things for gamers, one of the, the most requested sequels. And if it can, continues like this, it might reach Star Citizen levels. I mean, I know it's, you know, pretty damn high levels, but uh, it might do. But that might not happen, and even if it does, it doesn't really need it. The crowdfunding isn't actually to fund development to actually prove the project is worth external funding. And that's not exactly surprising, as very few games cost the few million that their campaigns actually ask for. And of course, Sony has confirmed that they're contributing as well. So basically, they have already proved, hey look, people really, really, really want Shenmue 3. Look how quickly we've beaten this goal. They were just waiting for us to announce this this whole time. Why didn't we do this sooner, basically? So obviously there was questions as to whether or not there was still interest. Obviously, some big wig somewhere said, oh no, no one cares about Shenmue anymore. And well, we have happily proved to them very, very wrong. And this is not the first time this happened, of course. This happened with Bloodstained Ritual of the Knights, basically that was also to prove there was interest in that sort of Metroidvania style gameplay, the old classic Castlevania. That was probably like some big wig sitting there like, oh no, 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 and then clearly again it happened, and it happened with Banjo-Kazooie's spiritual successor, which of course Ukulele. Um, big publishers thought that metric, uh, isometric RPGs are not around anymore, or not wanted anymore, but Pillars of Eternity and of course Torment broke insane records as well. So Kickstarter all round just there to prove hey we want this game. So congrats to Shenmue 3, look forward to seeing some gameplay and I'll see you next time.